Hello everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Ruby Fox Milligan's automobile in Emmerdale struck Ethan Anderson tonight. Even though it appeared like Ethan only had minor scrapes and bruises, Ruby immediately threatened to kill him. Will Ethan be as fortunate the next time? Emmerdale's upcoming week is going to be incredible. Nikki is in the hospital in a coma, so the Milligans and Dingles are not happy that Ethan has been going about the village. Ethan was operating the vehicle when he and Nikki were involved in an accident. Ethan left Mora, who was dying, to look after Nikki since he was a little over the limit and didn't want to risk his new job. Ethan initially claimed he wasn't involved, but Nikki has since been in a coma due to a brain bleed. However, Charles reported Ethan to the police when he confessed to his father, and Ethan was taken into custody. Additionally, the police have dash cam film that establishes Ethan's driving, which solidifies their case. Rudy, who is quite eager for her kid to wake up, didn't find it acceptable that Ethan will almost certainly spend time behind bars. On Wednesday, May 22, when Ethan was out for his morning run, she made the decision to take matters into her own hands and knocked him down. It was evident that Ethan knew who was driving, even though he insisted he was okay and didn't see. Ruby later made it plain that she had been behind the wheel of the car by waiting in the shadows of Ethan's kitchen. Ethan informed her that he had seen and knew her. He went on to say that they were now even. She responded by saying that she didn't give a damn and that they weren't even since Nikki was still unconscious. You better look both ways every time you cross the street, because if Nikki doesn't make it, rest assured I will finish the job. Ruby subsequently warned him. Ethan was left shivering with fear and anger as he thought about what she had said. Ethan overhears a startling exchange between Ruby and Rose as he gets ready for his court appearance the next week. As soon as possible, Ethan begins to worry about Dawn and makes the decision to spend his remaining free time helping her. After Ethan confides in Charles, his father urges him to give Dawn a call. Thus, Ethan records a message for her. Then as they get ready for court, father and son have a moving talk. After a brief visit to the kitchen, Charles returns to discover Ethan sprawled out on the ground. Hurrying in, Manpre performs CPR on a defenseless Charles. Ethan doesn't reply at all. Frightened Charles is worried about the worst, but will Ethan survive? Is the hit and run to blame for this? Or did Ruby complete the task as agreed upon? Will Ethan survive? Or has his life been taken by the aftermath of the hit and run? Ella Forster is a hot issue in the village elsewhere, and Lila Cavane is curious about why she isn't posting anything online and decides to find out. In the meantime, Kane Dingle decides to leave the community in order to support his son, Kyle Winchester. And in the Dales, an incredible week is in store. TV viewers have labeled the moments in Emmerdale's coercive control storyline as hard watch, following yet another horrifying turn. Tom King became enraged on Thursday, May 16, 2024, after he saw his wife Belle and friend Mandy Dingle making up using the puppy cam he had set up to spy on her. He had spent the previous few days trying and failing to break the two apart. When Belle discovered he had been closely observing her every move, a conflict resulted even though he had managed to maintain appearances upon his return to Dale Head. The take a vow wedding planner, however, took a vicious hit to the stomach after questioning him and murmuring about his activities. The Yorkshire-based drama's audience swiftly flocked to Twitter or X to criticize the broadcaster for showing the graphic sequence prior to the 9 p.m. cutoff time. Someone wrote, It was startling. I had anticipated it to be more suggested than explicitly displayed. Brutal for an audience at 7.30 p.m. This is really difficult to watch. I really feel bad for Belle, said another. 
Tom is incredibly cruel and awful. It's getting boring now. Hashtag Ennerdale. Can't we just have a storyline that doesn't involve a psychopath for once? Exclaimed a third. While a fourth TV viewer said they were forced to turn off the show altogether. I recently watched the Tom and Bell clip. Nothing to say. Really, really sad. One admirer expressed agreement, saying, the Tom and Bell storyline really puts me off watching. While one Emmerdale viewer contended that this episode is really distressing to watch, but it's such an important subject to highlight. Another predicted that, see, this is escalating at such a pace that by the time he gets his commitments, we're all going to be e h a e v s t e. Another admirer wrote, it's absolute right of a Emmerdale to highlight domestic violence and coercive control. But my God, it's hard to watch. But if it helps one person get out of their own situation, it's an amazing thing. As supporters of Belle continue to worry for her life, a variety of speculations have been circulating on discussion boards and social media sites. Many viewers, however, have grown convinced her half-brother, Kane Dingle, could be the one to avenge her as the strong guy, is well known for his predilection for violence. Belle will regrettably have to wait for justice because, in scenes that will air next week, Tom is going to further escalate her agony by throwing her under the bus during a meeting with the village general practitioner, Liam Cavanaugh. Even worse, Belle will lash out against Tom in front of several villagers, providing Tom with the evidence he needs to back up his accusations. Recently, the ITV soap opera has been an excellent watch, commemorating its 10,000th episode with historical references and a particularly terrifying hit and run involving Ethan Anderson. After the event, Ethan seems to beat all right, and the following week, he hears Ruby Fox Milligan and Rose Jackson having a really fascinating talk. I hear you wonder, just what exactly are they talking about? That is the question, though, and regardless of the subject at hand, it's sufficient to frighten Ethan, who decides to act appropriately by telling Don Taylor about his worries over Rose. Then Ethan passes out on the Woodbane flood. A distraught Charles fears the worst as Manpreet Sharma leaps into action, urgently attempting to revive Ethan. Will Ethan survive? Or has his life been taken by the aftermath of the hit and run? Ella Forster is a hot issue in the village elsewhere, and Layla Cavani is curious about why she isn't posting anything online and decides to find out. In the meantime, Kane Dingle decides to leave the community in order to support his son Kyle Winchester. And in the Dales, an incredible week is in store spoilers for Emmerdale to follow. In Emmerdale, Tom King and his wife, Belle, have once again become violent. In this week's episodes, Belle was tricked by Tom into betraying her own family for interfering with their intentions to become parents. Belle has already suffered from physical and psychological abuse at the hands of Tom, who most recently burned her hand with boiling water after learning she was using birth control. In the one-hour episode that aired on Thursday, May 16, Tom continued to surreptitiously watch Belle's life. This time, he used the puppy camera to record Belle talking to Mandy and Lydia. Unaware that he was hearing all she said, Belle's relatives were making fun of Tom. While he was storming back home, Tom tried to make nice with Mandy and Lydia to persuade them to leave. When he was by himself with his spouse, Tom became enraged with Belle for letting her relatives make fun of him. In response, Belle reminded Tom of his recent tendencies toward control and intimidation. When she went to ask for help, Tom whirled around and gave her a vicious hit to the stomach. Tom attempted to apologize while Belle, hurt, gripped her damaged stomach. Tom said to her, I'm so very sorry. Then he put the blame squarely on Belle, saying that it was her fault for talking behind his back to Mandy. Bell hurried out of his grasp as he tried to ask her to forgive him. Tom threatened to kick down the door if she didn't accept his apology as she withdrew to the restroom. 
After Belle eventually agreed to come downstairs, she requested Tom to go. Bell urged, either you leave or I will. I'll call Kane. If you don't leave, I'll do it. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.